The first troops could be sent to the border as soon as tonight. ABC 7 News reporter Kate Larson spoke with a local congressman who says he needs more specifics from the White House about the plan for National Guard troops at the border. After days of venting on Twitter about immigration policy and what he calls weak border laws, President Trump signed a memo Wednesday to deploy the National Guard to the U.S.-Mexico border. We're going to be guarding our border with the military. We do hope that the deployment uh, begins immediately. The Homeland Security Secretary said troops could be sent to the border as soon as Wednesday night, but did not say how many troops, how long they would be there, how much it would cost, or where they would actually be deployed. It will be strong. It will be as many as is needed to fill the gaps that we have today. U.S. Representative Mark DeSonier from Contra Costa County says Congress needs more information from President Trump. In and of itself, it's not a bad idea. We already have National Guard troops on the border helping the Border Patrol, um, but there's no plan to this. California did comply with White House requests to deploy the National Guard to the border in 2006 and 2010 under Governor Schwarzenegger. But the 2006 deployment came only after a dispute was settled about the number of troops and their cost. They have to work with the governors of each border state, and in this case it would be Governor Brown. Uh, we do not have the best relationship with the President of the United States you know, on immigration. On behalf of Governor Brown, California's National Guard spokesman issued a statement saying they will review the request for additional support, but look forward to more detail. Kate Larson, ABC 7 News.